Well, hello. Hopefully you can see my face. This is Ramiel again. I'm here to show you my uh, my bushcraft knife collection. So, I don't know. I hope it's not too boring. Just let me show you my my crook knife first. This thing is awesome, dude. I could show you some of the spoons I've made with it with a later video if you want. But um, this is from the North Bay. You can see it says North Bay on it. It's um, their small crook knife. And let me tell you what, it, you know, I had a Mora crook knife for a long time. And <sighs> that knife is good, but you get what you pay for. I paid like 50 bucks for this little thing. And it cuts through wood like you would not believe. I love this thing. This is a really good piece of kit. I suggest this to everybody. You know, North Bay is from uh, Canada. Really nice people. I think it came to me in like um, like a week. So, I mean, it is worth the money um, if anybody is into carbon spoons. Um, next here, you know, this is my second one I have. It's a sword peasant knife. Love this knife. Wicked, wicked sharp. Um, it actually, this, this is my second one, this one actually came sharp to me, which I was, like, really surprised, because, you know, usually you have to put a really good edge on this, but, um, you can shave with it. I mean, I've sharpened it since I got it, that's why you can shave with it, but it's a really good knife. And I got, uh, I got the sheath with it. Pretty cool, got a little piece of silk cord on it. Um, I love it, use it as a neck knife, carry it in my pocket. I'm a chef, so I, like... I use this as my everyday carry, um, use it as a box cutter. I have another everyday carry, for some reason I like to carry knives, but I think it's, you know, part of my profession and, you know, who doesn't like knives and fire, so. Anyways, um, this is a Dejo, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right, and if I'm not, my bad, there you go. Um, this knife weighs 15 grams, it's fucking awesome, it is really sharp. I was able to shave with this right out of the box. It comes in all different styles. Um, this one has a juniper handle, but it only weighs 15 grams, so it's really, really, really light. Um, and, you know, this is a really good blade. Um, you could use it for self-defense and... But I don't know. You know, I use it for all kinds of things. I, it opens packages really good. Um, I love this knife. You know, it's uh, I paid... Uh, I think 25 bucks on Newgram knives. That's where I got my uh, my sword peasant knife. They're like really cool people. It's in Virginia, I think. It's in Virginia or Georgia. My bad. Um, <laughs> anyways, next this is like you know my bushcraft knife. This is the first bushcraft knife I've ever owned. I mean I own tons of knives, but this is my first one I got with a Scandi edge, and um, this is the Les Stroud um, high carbon steel. Tamigami, Tamigami knife. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. If not, my bad. You know, I don't live in Canada and I don't speak uh, Mohawk or whatever that is. So, but anyways, um, this knife is awesome. Um, I, I love it. I, I've been using it for a few years now. Um, I was rabbit hunting and got some funky rabbit on there and I was stupid and I, I used bleach to clean it because you know the rabbit had worms and I pitted it so you can't really um, see the, the the scribe in it anymore but I love this knife I just polish it up uh, with my Japanese whetstone and it's um, I love this knife birch handle I put a little lanyard on it so it helps it pull out of the sheath um, I use linseed oil on the sheath too when I clean it this a really really good knife I'm really happy with it I don't really baton with knives so, I mean, that's, you know, I think this is thick enough for me. Next, you know, I got my axe. I got my Grands Fort Burks uh, small force axe. I don't know. I love this this thing. I mean, again, I keep it so sharp you can shave with it. I use up to a 6,000 grit uh, Japanese whetstone. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a mirror finish on it. I love this thing. I um, I pretty much when I do my spoon carving, I do almost the whole spoon with my axe, and then I finish it with this, um, with my Healy and my North Bay, um, North Bay uh, crook knife. But uh, I love this axe, man. Um, chops wood good. Cut down big trees. I'm thinking about getting one of their large um, felling axe. 
uh, American felling axes just because I, I kind of dig it. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to build myself a toboggan this year so when I do some winter calving, camping, um, I can just put all the stuff in a toboggan and pull it. You know, that's less work for me. Now, let me tell you about this knife. I don't, I don't think I'm going to tell you the company that I bought it from. Um, I, I paid for it like a year ago and it took for a year for them to make and they kept procrastinating on it. I really love this knife. Um, it's, it's a beautiful knife. It came with a good sheath. This is not how the knife came originally. Um, here's the sheath. I asked for them to make it uh, so I can side mount it on my belt. But they designed it to go like this in here. It's, it's really cool. It's got a little keeper. It's got a lanyard keeper that goes over your. Hold on, let's see if I can do this. Goes over your blade so it doesn't fall out, which is awesome. The only thing is, is it was designed to go on the front of your belt. And me being a guy, I don't know if I, you know, this is kind of big to be having by your, your personal business. You know, I think you know, pull, pull this thing out. You know, and it's it's sharp. I, I don't really like that. I was thinking more of the small of the back. So if you put it on the small of the back. It'd be sitting like this, you know, on the small of your back. When you reach around, you have to reach around backwards, which it's not how I would have wanted it. I, I, I think, you know, it should have been, they use the right-handed sheath, which I am right-handed. But when you flip it upside down, I think you need the left-handed sheath. But, you know, hey, um, what do I know? I, I'm not really a knife maker. What I don't like, I don't like this because the way they mounted it, they want you to use this on the front of your belt and you know I just think that you know this the weight of the knife you know might rip the stitching eventually but there is you know you know little copper rivets on the inside so I don't know if that'll happen I just I kinda wish it was flipped like this and in reverse because I'm right handed but you know I can mount this on the back you know and I, I don't think it's too bad. I don't know if you can see, but, you know, when you're holding behind you, I mean, I think that's kind of good, pulling it out like that. I would have rather pulled it down, but, you know, I can't complain. Um, real beautiful knife. I, you know, I paid like $1,000 for this knife. I know it's a little bit much, but uh, I don't know. I wanted it for like five years, so I made really good money last year, so I, I paid for it, and... and I don't know, I paid an extra hundred dollars for this lanyard and I'm really not very happy with this lanyard. I mean, I could have did this myself and it would have cost me like, you know, four bucks. So I, I, you know, I looked on the site and they had lanyards with beads and shit on it. And, I, you know, I thought that was really cool because they were hand carved. But, um, I don't know, kind of nice. Um, I asked for them to put a Scandi grind on it, grind on it but uh, it came. I don't know if you can see. I'll see if I can, you know, add pictures to the video. I don't know if I don't know how to do that because I'm not really savvy when it comes to the videos. But you know, there was um, I don't know. It had a, you know, the 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 first grind and then the secondary grind here. So I don't know if you can still see it. I spent like three hours sharpening this knife because it was not sharp when I bought it. And it's a really nice knife, I just think, for all the money that I paid for it. It's really thick, too. It's 5 16 thick. For all the money that I paid for it, like, there's, it's, it's the details. I think when you pay for investment for something that you're going to have for, you know, probably the rest of your life, you know, it's the little details. I don't know if you can see right here on the, um, the brass hilt. It was more filthy, more filthy than it is now. You know, I cleaned it up. The handle didn't have a lot of shine to it. I cleaned it up. It was filthy and added um, linseed oil. But um, I spent like two hours putting an edge on this blade. So, you know, I went down to 6,000, but you can see I don't want to keep going. You know, I'll wait until I have a little bit more use. Right here at the at the edge, you can still see the, the original rounded edge. It was It was actually sharpened real similar to my axe but not as sharp you know I just kinda weird to pay that much and ask for a scandy grind and have a you know I don't know what it is a convex grinder 
you know, I don't know what it is. I don't, it, with, uh, it's a bevel with a secondary bevel, but it was rounded. And I don't know if you can see it with the light here. It was, um, it's still a little bit round down at the end, but I got most, most of this front here, um, most of the front here flat. So now you can shave with the knife and, you know, I, I just, I think it's going to last me a while. I just think it's the details. So, word to the wise, don't fucking pay that much for a knife. Because, <laughs> unless you can hold it, I suppose. You know, or have somebody that's bought a knife for them, you know. I, I don't want to bag in the company too much. They just, uh, I'm a little agitated because I spent a lot of money and there's no reason why I should have had to spend two hours sharpening and then another 45 minutes cleaning up a knife that you paid that much for. I mean, you can still see the, the, um the bluing of the metal, you know, or the burning of the metal from, from the angle, or the, the belt sander. So, I mean, it's, it's little things like that. And I don't even know, I don't even know if this little divot here was, was meant to be here. I mean, I could, it's kind of cool cause I can use it as a thumb hold, but, uh, I don't think it was supposed to be here. So I'm a little pissed off <laughs> to say the least. I mean, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do anything with the company because it, it took way too long to even get the knife and, you know, deadline after deadline weren't, weren't met. So, um, I'm just going to deal with it. You know, I think once I, you know, sharpen it a little bit more, I can get the roundness and maybe get the, the blade, you know, to my standard. Um, because you can shave with all my knives. I mean, it's my profession, and you you know you really can't carve or have a useful knife if it's not sharp. So, um, I mean, it's nice now, but uh, when I got it, it, was you know I was not happy. <laughs> you know the there's no there was cake all over here. Anyways, I'm just kind of babbling, but this is a pretty nice knife. I like it now. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on it, but uh, I just wanted to show you my knives um, that I use. So, believe it or not, this sword peasant knife came sharper than my $1,000 knife, which is fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.